Hi, I'm in Braga. Braga is a city uh, of Minho region. In fact, the district capital of Baixo Minho. Uh, and the other one is Viana do Castelo, the district capital of Alto Minho. I would like very much to go there, but unfortunately I do not have time. So uh, I'm here in Braga, a fantastic city, fantastic. The next recipe, cabrito assado no forno, is a traditional Portuguese recipe from this region, Minho. Uh, as I said, I'm in Braga, which is the capital of the Baixo Minho, from where this recipe is very ancient and traditional. Northwest of Portugal. Just a curiosity, in Minho there is a city named Guimarães, UNESCO heritage, which claims of being the cradle of Portugal. I will post a link on this video to whom would like to know more about this enchanting story and I really advise you to watch it. I would like to toast with you with this Portuguese white wine called a subiu in English whistle. Maybe after a few glasses. This wine is coming from the Douro region and the winemaker is Spurão. It's from 2019. It's made with five traditional grapes of white wines in Douro. And the grapes are Viuzinho, Verdelho, Ravigat, Gouveia and Codega de Ladinho. This wine presents a straw yellow color with greenish reflections. We can find notes of peach and citrus together with tropical fruits and lime when we smell it. In the mouth is dense, fresh and elegant. We can find slightly acidity of it, full body with an intense finish full of citrus fruits. It is a white dodo wine. This recipe is intended for six persons, but we will serve only two. By the way, I already said that the name of this recipe is Cabrito Asado no Forno, in English, Young Milk Fat Goat Roasted in the Oven. And the ingredients are 2.5 kilos of young goat, 15 grams of garlic, finely chopped, salt at your taste, 5 grams of powdered paprika, 10 grams of pork lard, 10 grams of honey, pepper at your taste, olive oil, 2 bay leaves, and 400 milliliters of white wine. To season the meat, you will need a mortar to get the paste using the following ingredients in the following order. Put the garlic, chopped, 
and the salt in the mortar. Add the paprika and crush it until looks like a paste. Add the pork lard and the honey and mix well. Add the pepper at your taste. Add one spoon of olive oil and mix well. Now coat the goat with the obtained paste and let rest from one day to another. Here it is really important to let the meat to absorb the ingredients of the seasoning very well. That's why we should let rest from one day to another the meat within the ingredients of the seasoning. A few hours will not do this time. Once again, this type of recipes can be found in this fabulous book written by Maria de Lourdes Modeste, which I can't get enough uh, thanking her for doing this compilation. And this book is called Cozinha Tradicional Portuguesa. In the section where this uh, part of uh, the country, uh, the, the recipes of Minho, and in this case Douro, uh, together, it's a neighboring um, place, uh, are treated, we can find uh, an ancient uh, kitchen from these regions. Here, where the, the specific recipe is described, uh, here, cabrito asado, we can see as well a uh, traditional ancient uh, wood oven where the recipe was cooked in a, 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 a pottery, uh, in a terracotta uh, recipient where the people uh, were cooking this recipe in ancient times. The recipe that I will try to do, I have learned it from my mother-in-law, which was from Braga, the Minho region. A fabulous woman. Thank you. Preheat the oven at low temperature between 150 and 175 degrees. While we are waiting that oven gets the right temperature, I will profit to show you this type of very special bread called Broa de Milho. I have the chance, the lucky really, that my neighbor gave us this very traditional and bread made still in an oven with wood and with uh, local uh, corn uh, uh, grinded uh, in the way that you have seen on another uh, uh, movie uh, that I did uh, showing an ancient um, river mill and this bread is called in English corn bread uh, it's very very good just by smelling it here it's, it's incredible I will try to uh, cut a piece of it to show you how it looks like. It's very hard, the, the outer part of the bread. Look at the color. Mm. While waiting, you can try the olive oil used in this recipe. You see, it's a nice color with this fantastic bread. Mm. After resting, 
you see that I have used some rosemary, wild rosemary herbs. Uh, you can, I've, I, I have forgotten to say, but um, you can always use this kind of uh, herbs uh, at your taste. But now I will take them out. And as good Portuguese, I will use a little bit more olive oil. I will rectify with a little bit more salt, not much. And I will pour the white wine not over the goat, young goat itself, but like this as a marinade that it will cook now together with this delicious meat. Shake the recipient to mix the ingredients, the seasoning. And as you can see, we are using uh, traditional uh, uh, terracotta baking tray. Insert the baking tray in the oven when the temperature is reached. At the half of the cooking, turn the meat. Add some hot water if needed. I will propose a side dish the following. Quarters of boiled potatoes passed through hot oil and seasoned with dry aromatic herbs oven rice with boiled turnip grits. For the oven rice, the ingredients are olive oil, 50 grams of small pieces of chorizo. This time we are using one chorizo from Serra da Estrela, specifically from Serra. One cup of white rice, Carolino, 35 grams of fine chopped onions, 30 milliliters of beef broth, and water, which is two cups of the same size used to measure the rice. To cook the white oven rice, Put the chorizo into the pot, in this case it's a terracotta clay pot, traditional from Portugal, and mix to extract the fat. Add a little bit of olive oil. After frying a little bit the chorizo, add the chopped onions. Add the rice and stir vigorously. Add the water pre-warmed and mix. Add the beef broth. Let it boil and right after insert the pan into the oven together with the meat. Insert the cooking pan into the oven together with the meat. Let it cook. Boil the potatoes in water with some salt. Fry the pre-boiled potatoes. 
boil in water the turnip greens with some salt. After the turnip greens are boiled, dry them and reserve. To go with this dish, I will propose this very special wine called Tapada do Chaves. It's a reserve from 2002 from Malentejo wine region, specifically from Porto Alegre. It's made with very old grapes for the Portuguese vinhas velhas, has trincadeira, arabonês and castellan. This wine is coming from a region located in the granitic lands of the slopes of Porto Alegre. The Tapada do Chaves has always been associated with the production of a high quality Alentejo wine with a rigorous selection of noble grapes varieties from the region as Trincadeira, Aragonês and Castellão, as I said. With careful winemaking and later aging in national oak barrels, this reserve is of great complexity and structure. Presents a garnet color, complex aromas of red and black wine berries with notes of oak, wood, where the wine aged, persistent aromas and spices. It's a great Alentejo red wine. I will pour it. Look, the garnet color. Mm. The red and black wild berries are here. I will taste it. With a finish persistent and the flavors all here. Cheers. Great Alentejo wine. And voila, done with love. Bon appetit. Thank you.